Smuggler, Hi, old mum, you're just swear by thistle dew. Smuggler, then. I remember an old boy saying to me, a prox ball's best way of telling. Hi, old mum, you're just swear by thistle dew. Smuggler, then. Oh, hi. Jazz here. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about a trip me and a couple of friends took to a little place called Chapman's Pool, which is in between uh, Pool Harbour and Lulworth Cove. There's a few little coves along there, and from uh, Pool Harbour, Swanage, uh, Chapman's Pool is, is the first one en route towards Lulworth Cove. Uh, and my, I, I'm going to rave about it for, for years to come because it really was that good. Uh, I honestly couldn't believe it was in the UK. The waters were actually crystal clear and blue. You could see all the way down to the ocean floor. When we laid the anchor, uh, I could actually watch the anchor go all the way down and hit the floor bed, uh, the seabed. So everywhere else I've been um, laying an anchor in the UK so far as you let the anchor out, it hits the water and then it vanishes because the waters aren't as clear. So that was amazing. The weather was pretty spectacular too. It was hot, hot, hot um, for the first day that we arrived. So yeah, Chapman's Pool is um, part of the Jurassic Coast. It has no road access to it. There is a walk where people were walking down the, the hillside to get there. And there's a nice little beach where people were eating food and just chilling out in the sun. A number of boats were in the anchorage area. It's actually quite busy. We managed to, rather than going into the actual covey bit, we actually went uh, next to a boat parked right on the edge. Uh, we were quite close to some rocks, but I did a nice little uh, spin around, checking out the uh, parameters, the depth, the rocks, before we laid the anchor and got in a nice, nice solid area. Funny little story about the anchoring. Uh, when we left Pool Harbour, we lifted up the anchor and from the, the harbour bed, uh, we lifted up a huge chain. It wasn't connected to anything. We could see the, uh, the, the two sides of the chain, but it was just this huge chain being brought up by my anchor. Uh, it's good to know that while my boat was there with this chain on the anchor, it wasn't going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but bringing the anchor up revealed this huge, I wish I took a photo of it. Huge chain. Um, and it took two of us, me and my friend Joe, um, to actually get the chain off of the anchor. We, we could both reach the chain, but lifting it, it was so heavy lifting it was almost an impossible task. We ended up having to get a rope wrapped around it. One of us lifting the chain by hand, one of us lifting the chain with the rope and then just dropping everything. I, I've lost a rope in the process. It was only a small scrap of rope, but still that, that went down with this chain. It was actually a little bit of foreshadowing because when we came to lift the anchor at Chapman's Pool, uh, the anchor wouldn't lift it was more than likely caught in some rocks. Although I said we could see the anchor hit the bottom um, of the seabed. Come the next morning and overnight, the winds had changed, the sea had changed. The whole night was really, really quite rough. Um, the winds had really picked up and were going uh, into the cove rather than being sheltered by it and then we had huge amounts of swell. On the trip home, we had at least two meters swell and we were probably having you know, one meter or so while at anchor. So it was quite a rough night. It was quite interesting, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, but coming to lift the chain in that um, weather um, became tough and the chain didn't want to come up. We managed to reel it in with the electric winch um, as much as possible, and then it just wouldn't go any further. There was a, a little bit of panic um, because 
we had places to be um, and we didn't want to be trapped at Chapman's pool although I wouldn't have minded it whatsoever but um, yeah it took maybe an hour or so of, of wangling to try and get the anchor up ended up driving the boat into the chain trying to swing the boat around trying to get all different angles just trying any way to get the chain loose and anchor up yeah we had a, we had a few different plans um, again the last one being getting in the water and taking a look oh no that wasn't the last one actually that was the penultimate plan was to get in the water take a look around and see if we could manhandle it under the water. The anchor was about four meters down. So although it doesn't seem like that much, that was still quite, quite a way underwater. Oh yes, the last option of course would be to cut the anchor line and lose the anchor altogether. I do have a spare anchor, I don't have spare anchor chain, but in an emergency that is is what you do. Fortunately, after driving into the chain a number of times and just trying to just get around and just trying to loosen it up, I managed to pull the anchor chain up by hand. Um, I went to the bow of the boat to check out the winch and the situation. Um, managed to get the boat right over the chain, pulling the chain in with the electric anchor winch until it's literally just the boat and a straight chain down <clears throat> and then it just took a, a few moments of teasing the chain and then it just came up super easy and away we went so that was fun and interesting and just ironic as we had already had anchor problems the day before with that huge massive chain another amazing thing about chapman's pool was just around the corner just a dinghy ride around the corner was um, a private beach no land access um, at all, just a huge cliff with a beach at the bottom. The only way to get onto it would be by dinghy. So we stayed there for a little while. We actually went look around a few rock pools to see if we could find any crabs. We saw some big crab shells on the beach, which birds had obviously eaten, um, probably, probably around that big with uh, spikes, spiky crabs. So uh, we did try and go and look for some of them for some dinner. Um, we didn't find any but it was an incredibly beautiful little beach and if you do ever go to Chapman's pool and you do have a dinghy to take you around the corner I would highly recommend it uh, we basically had sunset there and again absolutely gorgeous stunning and that's Chapman's pool uh, highly rated I would review it a good uh, nine and a half out of ten <laughs> for a bay in the UK with actual crystal clear waters. If you're looking for somewhere to go, check it out. All right, people, just a short one this time. Um, trying to keep the videos down a little bit and stop rambling, which I'm about to do. So, cutting it there. Thanks very much, everyone. Um, hope you're enjoying the summer and I'll speak to you all soon. Ta-ra. <laughs> Oh, your mum used to swear by thistle dew. Smuggle it then.